everybody, welcome back. Uh, we've got a new project to, that we're going to start on today. And I'm hoping this is going to be something of interest to you guys. This is a, um, let me see what I've named this. This is, I'm calling this a multi-pocket clutch. And it's going to be taking a um, file folder, because most of us can get our hands on those. And we're going to turn that into this. And I love how this came out. Um, I started working on this, and I think I've got it. I'm hoping it's not going to be too disjointed, this tutorial. So what we've got here first is a pocket here, where I've created a uh, tag. And this is an Artie Maze kit. I, I love this uh, purple medley. And then I took some papers from another kit that I think coordinated really nicely. So this opens up and this is going to flip down and I've got this tag which holds a tag. There's two pockets on the back and I made this little window here and the little slide that tucks in. So that's on that pocket there and then here I've added all kinds of little things to this. So we've got two pockets there. And then we've got a side pocket here with a couple of uh, journal cards. And then this flips down. I've made a belly band here. So we've got another holding space. And then this is another little pocket. So all of this folds up to this side, right? And I've got the little coin closure. And then this flips over. And on the back here, we've got, let's see, we've got this pocket that's full of bits and pieces. And we've got this pocket. And then I made this pocket. And then this large one. So one, two, three, four pockets on the back. Um, as well and then just all kinds of little things for you to play around with and I just think this is a really fun um, idea for those sometimes in between you want to um, you want to have a break from a large project and I think this is going to be great for happy mail so And like I said, just lots of little bits and pieces in there. So this is what we're going to start on. And let's just start with our file folder here. <coughs> what we'll do in this first part is just get the base of it made. And then uh, the next section we'll just start covering it with the papers and uh, take it from there. So. You could do this with cardstock. So just thinking in terms of all you're going to need to do if, if you make this with cardstock is just allow maybe another inch so that you can cut out a tab shape. Um, you don't have to have a tab. I mean, it's not, not necessary. But um, So don't get hung up if you don't have uh, file folders. You're just going to take the measurements and then tweak it with using cardstock, okay? So what we've got, um, this is about, oh, I don't know, just over 11 and a half inches. The, what we're going to do is cut this down. It doesn't matter where you start. You're going to cut this down to 5 inches because you're going to use both sections. So first take that at 5 and then this one I'm going to flip over and do the same. And then we'll hang on to the strip. I don't know if I'll make use of it in this project, but I always keep these because they're nice for using for other little things. So with this first piece, I'm going to say this is piece number one, and I'm going to set the other to the side. And this is where I'm hoping it's going to... Okay. So we are going to open this up 
and, and lay it down to the 14 inch mark. And that is 14 inch at the, the tab, okay? And then make sure you've got that nice and even and just go ahead and cut that off, okay? And now, with this piece, because this is going to form, hang on to that, that's going to be the pocket on the back. And now, <clears throat> with this, we're going to now line it up at seven and a half. And if, if you want to, use your scoreboard, but I'm just going to use the paper cutter. And I'm just going to put a score line at seven and a half. And just sit that over for one minute. And so this is the original fold on the um, file folder. So we're just going to ignore that and pull this up and burnish that score line. And you'll see some of these. Um, that's the uh, thinner file folders. Sometimes they're not completely straight when you buy them. Um, Okay, so what that is going to do is that's going to form the, <clears throat> the back here. When we glue that down, that's going to make, um, but we're not going to glue it yet, guys. So to make sure because you want to cover all these papers. And the other thing I do is just go back and round these. So I'm just going to pin those or paper clip them together real quick so that you can visualize what, what I'm talking about. So that's effectively the back, which is this. And so now we're going to do the front portion. And so this is the other piece that we cut. And we are going to score this. <clears throat> okay, so starting, you, you've got the longer portion of the file folder. Starting with that longest piece, we're going to score that at one and a half inches. And like I said, if, if you find it easier with your scoreboard, do that, which is probably what I should have done. One and a half, and then we're going to put it at five and a quarter. And then flipping it over so that we're working on the shorter section now, we're going to score that at two inches. <clears throat> Up <clears throat> so that we've got the kind of like the coin envelope portion of the um, the back or the front, whichever you want to call it. I, I think this is more the front. And so now all I'm going to do is just go ahead and round off these corners. Makes it look a little bit nicer and don't as I said don't glue anything at this point guys because we want to get all of our papers um, put on here and we'll do that in the next portion of this so 
this is going to be on this front. And then back here, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and round some of these like that. I want to try to round that if I can. So this is the back, and then this is the front portion, and as I said, the next video we will um, begin to <clears throat> cover these. And I just want to say that you can take this project much, much further, because what this ends up being is the pocket here, right? Let me open it up so you can see. Let's zoom up there so you guys can see a little bit better. See, I formed a pocket, right? But what you can do with this, if you want, you could even add a couple more extensions here. You could add more flaps here, maybe with more pockets within it. So it, it's just endless, really, what you can do with this. Um, and we'll see how it goes. Maybe we'll tweak this one slightly so that you can see. But <clears throat> if you're going to do any other additions to it, just get those done before you cover the papers. Um, so let me just see if I can give you an example. I mean, this, this is certainly not the right width, but for example, if you were going to extend this over this way, you would want to get all of this placed down prior to, so that it flips over. Kind of, you know, like the last project we did, it's just always thinking about if you're creating a hinge, you want to get all of that down before you put your final paper. Um, so just think about that. So if you want to extend this out, um, that width out here, another block where somebody could add maybe a couple of photos, or you could even make more pockets with tags in there that fold in. It's just endless what you can do with these, but I thought this would be a really fun um, project because I love the interactive um, things. I just think they're such fun to do, and they're fairly short. Um, it just takes me longer because I'm videoing it. But if you sit down the, and do this, um, depending on how much, you know, if you're going to do sewing or whatever, they're relatively quick. You could do it probably, you know, if you're really quick, you could do a couple of these in a day probably. Uh, but it just, like I said, if you're doing a lot of sewing and things, then it is going to take longer. Um, the other thing I would say is if you don't have file folders and you're going to do this with cardstock, well, why not just save yourself the step and go ahead and print your digital onto cardstock? That way you can just cut it out and it's done. Whereas we've got to now take the time in the next portion of it and we're going to have to um, glue the paper down, cut around it, um, so that's just another little step that you could admit if you don't have the ability to get the file folders. But it's just fun. I love these kinds of things. Um, it's always fun to play with file folders. We all love that. And it's um, So hopefully you guys will like this. this uh, like I said, I'm calling this a multi-pocket clutch. And I've got some papers. Let me show you the papers we're going to be using in case you want to purchase these. I'm not trying to sell them. I, I, I'm no longer on um, anybody's design team really anymore. I kind of got away from it, but I spotted this. This is Artie Mae, as you know, I'm a fan of her work. And this is the Lavender Hues kit. You get quite a few papers and then a few um, tags and journal cards. It's not a full kit. Um, 
he, you know, Artie Mays' kits are, are huge. Uh, but this is a very generous kit. And I think the kit for this was $3.90, I believe. And like I said, you get several pages of elements. I just have not uh, printed the elements out yet because I wasn't sure what we were going to need because I want to use up as much of the papers as I can. So I thought, well, I'll hold off on printing that. But you know why I love it. It's combined um, purple with the uh, turquoise, which are my two favorite colors. <laughs> and look at this. So I had to print this. I printed... Um, Look at the look at all these background colors you get. But I went ahead and printed this three times because I was like, oh yeah, that's going to be the base. It's predominantly going to be the um, turquoise, and then I will add some of these other images on top. I just think it's a really pretty. And the other thing that's a little bit different about this, it's more of a watercolor. Um, Design. She generally is more, I'd say, grunge, um, vintage, but this one had kind of a, like a watercolor feel to it, and I was really drawn to it. So, you know, like I said, I'm not trying to sell this, guys, but if you do want to use these, um, that is the kit. It's purple hues, and it's in her shop, and that's what I'll be using. So, okay, guys, I'm looking forward to this project. I'm so excited to get started on this. So take care. I'll be back soon. Bye.